All right, welcome back to part two of the video. In this one, we're gonna start getting all of the piping for the exhaust out of the turbo Y branch, offset down over 90 degrees. Easy peasy. So Mark just had to uh, run out for a little bit, so I'm on my own for a few minutes at least. So let's see if we can surprise him with a whole bunch of work getting done. So first things first, we have this V-band and this piece of galvanized pipe. So I need to replicate this flange onto this piece of stainless. It's left intentionally long so I can cut it off wherever I want. So to do that, pretty simple, take a measurement of the tape, mark said measurement on a piece of pipe. And I'm just gonna slowly bend it over with the vice grips and I'm gonna go around and around and around. You don't wanna go too much all at once because then you can actually tear the metal. If you tear the metal, it's fine. I'll just weld it back up, clean it all up. It's just to hold this V-band to the turbo, get my first piece of pipe. Let's get her done. clamped a little 3 8 nut in there to kind of set it as a back gauge so I didn't have to line up each one. And then you just kind of slowly go around, go around, keeping your weight on the back side and using as much body leverage as you can to fold it over nicely. And then I just dressed it up with a little body hammer. Then I stuck her on a turbo, fits pretty nice. Put a mark right there. So now I'm gonna cut it here, but this is so we can have, it's uh, just a flexible coupler because the motor's gonna be moving separate from the solid mounts I'm gonna have to do on this. So I'm gonna cut it, and then this guy's gonna get mounted, bring it back after it's cut. All right, so now, got the flex pipe installed, got the stainless there, this is all just kind of loose. But now I can start seeing where I wanna put my Y branch over here, and starting getting everything offset and down. So I'll get the Y branch on and then probably gonna have to lower the cab, take some measurements, raise the cab, double check, lower, raise, lower, raise. Mark's arms are gonna be tired. So, Dug out the Y branch. That is nice. Oh yeah, thank you. So it's gonna be sitting kind of right around here. Uh -huh. So what I'll do is I'm gonna grab the tool that I lose the most. What? My tape measure. And I'm gonna add a um, four and a half inch piece to it because I have about an inch and a half overlap on that one for the clamp. So I'll go ahead and cut a four and a half inch piece off of here and I'll get it all tacked up and I could even weld that right on. And then that way we have a little bit extra, I might even go five. Smart, because Just we go, can push it in farther. Exactly, go a little bit extra, push it in, and then have a little bit more play. And then the Y branch is out here. Which uh, should clear everything. Yeah, and then we can lower the cab, make sure everything clears. And then I can actually take my center line measurement off of here, and then I can relate it into where it needs to be here, so I know how much to offset down. So we're clearing everything on the bottom of the cab here. What holds it up though? I guess it's going to be solid pipe around the band. So off of here, this part of your frame, and then there. the other part of the frame, I'm going to build some supports. Uh, I so I was thinking, yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of weight hanging. It's, yeah, we can't have that much, especially with this flex pipe. So it's going to be supported right off of the Y branch. I'll do a little uh, fish plate, and then I'll weld right to that. And then that way, I'll make it so it all bolts off. So basically, it'll be two bolts and a clamp. 
and then lift that thing. And then out. most of this stuff will come out. It's going to be coming out kind of in one big one big piece. It's going to be a two-person job, but uh, awesome. hard to steal. I love it. Right on. All right, well, I'll cut this piece, get it tacked up, and then I'll uh, bring you guys back then. Looking pretty sharp. We'll see about getting uh, some polished flex hose after, but this will do right now for mock up. Now we're going to lower the cab down nice and slow. I want to make sure that's going to have room to travel because I can move that in a little bit, but I want it out kind of as far as possible. It looks like it's going to hit, but once it, the closer it gets, it's weird. It's kind of the farther away it gets. Nice and slow. Now we're going to hit. So. Jack it up. Uh -oh. oh, I see an issue. That's going right into the cap. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and come up with an idea. I can fix it. All right, so Mark came to give me a hand. We measured out the Y branch and decided that we don't wanna roll that end up just to pitch that end down. That looks like a shortcut. I'm gonna offset this pipe with the flex there so i'll redo all that and uh, what i'm going to end up doing after it offsets down it's going to clear underneath here so you can see the pipe coming out there so it should clear so we had some more of these beautiful pie cuts from uh, lyle stainless out of uh, burlington ontario and i cleaned up six more and uh, built an offset and this is so if you take the center line from there to the center line from there that's two and a half inches different that will give us all the room we need to clear underneath so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to turn the camera off because from the last video it was a whole lot of the same thing it was a bunch of uh flashing welding and if you want to see that go ahead and click back at that one but uh i just don't want to give any an epileptic seizure because it's going to be fast motion bright flashing lights so i'll bring you back when this is done all right, this is finally cool to the touch, but welded up this little offset. So now I took this piece off the turbo and I'm gonna cut it back. I'm gonna make a cut somewhere around here. So I'm gonna cut it off of the turbo pipe here and then I'm just gonna offset right down so we can still have more flex. I don't want to limit the amount of flex that's on this exhaust here. I want to keep as much uh, movement in it as possible with uh, what's coming off the turbo. So I'm going to lay this out here, mark everything out, give her a cut, and I'm going to weld this on. And then when I bring you back, I'll have that guy on there. All right, well, got that all welded up. Stuck it on the turbo, and I think that looks killer. So now it's offset down two and a half inches. So I always like to measure my center line from center line to center line, two and a half inch offset. So then we'll come out with a flex pipe. Y branch will come over, elbow will go over. It'll increase the size to eight inches. And then it's gonna come up to the stack here. And this is gonna be a big old dirty eight inch stack. So 
I think this truck's going to be really loud. I think this once this Jake's going, it's going to be barking. So I got to call her quits for now. So when I see you guys next, it's going to be a few days later. Okay, so it's been a few days at least, probably a week. All right, so pop the offset off, cut this little piece. And this is to allow the clamp I need more surface area to be able to clamp on a flat. So with that short piece there on the inside, call that the, the throat. So on the inside of the throat, I just need a little bit more room. So, all right, so got the little addition welded to the offset off the turbo, lowered the cab, got my Y branch here. Now I need to find a happy place for this, which is actually gonna to be tougher than I thought. All of this leveling uh, valve stuff is here and I got my oil filter and stuff here. And because we had to lower it down, I had to sacrifice some room here to clear the cab here. So I'm going to think about this for a couple minutes and then uh, yeah, see what it looks like. Okay, I got a plan. So now I'm just going to raise this cab up. I'm going to cut a piece of that flex tube there and get this all clamped up in here. Y branch is going to come off, split, split. This side's going to be good. But if I run into clearance issues around this oil filter, then uh, yeah, I'm just going to build an offset around it. And then uh, Mark will either have to struggle every time he changes the oil or else we're going to have to come up with a new plan. But I don't change the oil in these trucks, so sorry, Mark. <laughs> So let's have a quick look. So flex pipe is on. That's the clamp we're going to be using. We only have one five inch one. So I just temporarily taped it up with some gaffer tape. This is just a CAD galvanized uh, flex pipe. We're not going to be using that on a finished project. Mark uh, picked up some nice stainless stuff. So it's just as a sample piece into the Y branch here. Just a little temporary support. If I'm looking right through we're going to have to clear that oil filter, but let's get this cab dropped and uh, let's see, uh, see what it looks like after. Slow it down a little bit, the valve here. What I was looking for was to make sure that is nice and level, that piece is nice and level, and it's straight into the, uh, into the offset. I want to keep everything nice and straight and square as possible. And uh, believe it or not, your uh, eye is one of the best tools you can actually have. If you have decent eyes. It's close enough. We're clearing my Y branch. And there we go. There it comes to a rest. Climb up. Oh, we got tons of room. I just want to make sure that these all have room to move around. We, we can do some uh, slight adjustments on these to make sure there's extra clearance, but I think that's going to be enough room for in there. So now that I know it clears, this can go up. Oops, actually I want to have one more look. 
so close. Just enough clearance. I have to make sure uh, there's clearance there. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to just kind of tip it down a little bit, get a final height to make sure that clears. And then I can put the piece of pipe elbow here and then do the same, make sure that the pipe and elbow goes down that way. And then I can fabricate hangers, supports, and uh, yeah, call our day. Hopefully I'm done in a few hours. So I had a stupid question from Mark, so he popped over. And the question was, can we just move this leveling bracket so the valve's on the other side? And it's like, I don't see why not. So we turned it around. Now I got all the room in the world to clear this. So now I don't have to build a goofy offset. Mark will be able to do an oil change easier. And uh, makes my life a lot easier. So I'm gonna lower this down again. I'm gonna remeasure, and then I'm gonna have to try to make a longer piece of flex. Got this piece fit back on again. Boom. I just tack welded some more flex together just so I could get the distance that I want. Now that that uh, leveling valve is gone, I have all the room in the world to make this work. Lower this down. There should be just enough clearance. Here it comes. There she sits. So now I have plenty of room height-wise. Now I just have to do a couple measurements. I need to measure from that pipe over, and I calculated a center line from where this pipe is gonna be sitting. So I'm gonna pull these measurements here. And then one thing that I need to do is, that's my center line measurement, that little mark. So I need to measure off my center line, which is, so, Two and a half to the bottom, five to the center, seven and a half to the top. So this is a five inch center line radius. So basically all I do is pull this measurement, whatever she may be, then a minus five inches for my center line measurement, cut the piece of pipe. I can tack that elbow, tack it to that Y branch and uh, should be good to go. I'm just gonna leave everything tacked on here. Then I'll get some supports to help hold it, make sure that uh, my heights are all good, and then I'll pull it all off and weld everything all in one. But if I can get it all tacked, I'm gonna be happy with that progress for right now. So I'm gonna pull some measurements and I'll bring you guys back in another minute or two. Okay, so I pulled my measurements. On the passenger side, we had 20 inches to my center of my elbow. So minus five inches off. 15. The other side, we had 49 inches uh, to the center line of what I needed uh, my elbows to line up. Minus 5, that's 44. 44 is right here. 15 is right there. I can get both of these out of one cut. So that's a nice benefit. Now I can't find pipe marker, a curvomatic pipe marker. So I'm just going to use the old tape measure. Drag technique. Now if you're thinking, oh, that's actually kind of neat, or that guy's an idiot, I've got a little short video that uh, I'll post uh, right there. And uh, this kind of talks about how I hold my hand and what I do. A lot of people think it's stupid, but you know what, I've been doing this for a while and uh, it works well for me. Just takes a little bit of practice. It's a little hard to get used to, but once you got it, it's mint. So I'm gonna cut this up and I'm gonna tack some elbows onto this. And then elbows tacked on the big piece. Double check my measurement. And we are 46 and a half to the bottom plus two and a half is 49 right to my center. That one's dead nuts. This one we're shooting for a 20 inch center line. So, and we are 17 and a half. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm gonna switch this to time lapse. I'm gonna buzz these up.
Okay, well, these are welded up. Looking pretty good. I'm in a position now where I really need that second set of hands from Mark, but he's busy, so I'm gonna have to come back yet another day. And uh, yeah, we'll get this done. And hopefully by then, the eight inch elbows will be laser cut out and then I'll have them ready to go so I can weld them up. And then we can end up with a whole pipe up there. And then once that's all said and done, we might even be able to start it up and see what she sounds like. So I'm gonna pause it for now. And when you guys see me again, my beard will probably be different. To be continued. Thank <laughs> you.